This video and its program were sponsored by Vantage Properties in conjunction with Transition Possible. The kickoff for Transition Possible brought together trainers and gym owners from around the country so they could learn about how to work better with adaptive athletes. Athletes that provide different challenges but aren't lacking in motivation or limited by boundaries. They don't see a disability. They see, uh, I think we coined a, t a term today, a, a phrase called the new normal. It's just a new normal for them. Waking up without a limb, uh, it's, just, it's just their day. There's, there's no what they can't do, it's how am I going to do it, you know what I mean? It's, there's no, it's interesting, but there's, there's no limitations in their minds. What better person to help understand motivation and boundaries than Kyle Maynard? Kyle was born with a condition known as congenital amputation, but Kyle has never let that get in his way and has accomplished things that most of us can't imagine. Kyle has set records in weightlifting, fought in mixed martial arts, and most recently became the first man to crawl on his own to the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa. Well, I think it's, everybody realistically is, is an adaptive athlete if you think about it. I don't care who it is, whether it's, you know, LeBron James or somebody like that. I mean, they've, they've got, you know, things that, that they do well and, and other things that they don't do well. So we have to kind of all, you know, adapt and, and to scale. I, I think. For me, I'm really thankful that my parents just raised me with that attitude to go and see that, not focus on the disability, you know, that just to see that, um, you know, the things that I could do. By focusing on, on what I could do, then it really became just uh, normal. Transition Possible was created out of the belief that wounded service members and adaptive athletes need and desire to continue to thrive and lead productive lives. What I've noticed is that the theme with the Wounded Warriors in particular was that they were so grateful to be alive. In particular, one athlete told me that the bomb that took off his legs killed the soldier next to him. And so every day he just has immense gratitude that he's alive. And I think that's missing sometimes in the athletes that I work with. You know, and it's maybe no fault of their own. They haven't experienced some of the, the hardship and you know, in a combat environment, some of the, the real terror that these athletes have. And so I think they have a real appreciation for just how valuable life is. There's gonna be people with injuries that might require special attention. There's gonna be people with, you know, prosthetic leg is no different than someone who comes in with a broken ankle, but still wants to train. Um, as far as, you're gonna have to modify movements, you're gonna have to um, have a dialogue with the person and, and figure out you know, what they can and can't do, what they want to do and don't want to do, what their goals are. I think that if um, the determination that I saw this weekend and the determination I know Rick Martinez has, um, I think that it'll, it'll be something that we can all say we were a part of in the beginning. This has been just a, a blessing to be able to come down here and work with these athletes and uh, be able to take a piece of this uh, back to Mentor, Ohio with me and kind of, uh, you know, share all these experiences with them and, and teach them about adaptive athletes and the movements and all the standards and different things that I learned down here. Rob Jones and Oksana Masters are bronze medal winners in rowing at the Paralympics and offer first-hand advice for adaptive athletes. If you identify what you want to go after, and work at it every day and work at it in a smart way and uh, just keep doing that until you get where you want to go and you'll get there eventually. Anything's possible. Anything's possible if you're just willing to believe it and actually work for it, whether and just try to. Transition Possible wants adaptive athletes, coaches, and trainers to use the website as a resource, but want to remind us that fitness isn't all it's about. Fitness might be 10% of what Transition Possible is all about. I mean, it's really the larger purpose of, of finding a purpose. It's, it's in connecting to people's, you know, why. Giving somebody a reason to, you know, to get up you know, out of bed and keep fighting. You know, maybe it's a, a job, maybe it's in helping somebody else, maybe it's a combination of both. So that's, that's what I think, that, you know, this is, uh, that's what really excites me about what's happening here.